Welcome to the Kiwi Mana Day. Hi, it's Gary here from Kiwi Mana, and today we're going to talk about how to do a sugar shake to determine the how many mites you've got in your hive. This is the hive we're going to be doing, so stay tuned. Okay, here's what you need. Hopefully, the GoPro is fixing it up. You got a uh, me, um, sugar shake jar, a bowl, which you fill with water, which I'll go and get in a minute. Some icing sugar, a measurement, and a another measurement for the bees. Okay, so I'll just inspect this hive. Holy camoly. This is all ants. Not good. So what I'll do is I'll just put these over here. Hello girls, you can see the ants now running around. The other thing I've got today is a inspection thing. It's pretty windy today so hopefully the audio doesn't sound too bad. I really need a Kiwi Mata hive tool but So we're heading into winter, so these guys are hopefully building up enough. But the ants in the comb. So I'm just looking for any eggs, so far nothing, it's probably laying at the bottom. Oh there's some brood. Just checking some of these for the colour. There's no more brood here. Oh, here we go. Okay, I can see some eggs over this part here. So the queen is here. Okay, now this is an ideal frame that's got nurse bees on it. So this is perfect if you want to do a uh, sugar shake. Okay, I've got some good different, got some good, good colours here, good stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shake these girls into my bowl. Okay, which is the big bowl. And what I do is I just put it on its side, hopefully you can see this, ready? And you just shake that into there. Okay, and they'll, they'll just fly around. And the ones that'll stay in there are all nurse bees usually. Which is what you want, because they're the ones with the most varroa. And 
and I tend to get two or three frames of nurse bees so you get like a good average if you're getting your samples from honey frames you're not doing a good sample You just got to really make sure that you're not going to take, you're not bringing the queen into the jar. You just don't want to risk it. Okay, so once you've got your jar of bees, I mean your, your bowl of bees, this is what I do. I get my trusty half half cut measurement, half cut measurement, and my my night my sugar shake jar. What I do is I just shake all the girls into one corner, and I put this down, and I shake them into the cup. Okay, so you get a half a cup, put them in there. Put the lid on. Now the rest of these girls can go back in the hive. Okay, next step. Two tablespoons of icing sugar. Doesn't it doesn't really matter totally of it. It doesn't have to be exactly two tablespoons. Okay, so that's them, and you'll see that they're all rolling around in it, hopefully knocking off mites. So just give it a bit of a roll around, like that. Okay, and then just put it beside somewhere out of the rain, out of the, out of the, uh, out of the wind, sorry. I'm just going to got some water to put in the bowl. Now I'll wrap the slicing sugar up before we get some bees liking it. And then what I do then, I just continue the inspection. Okay, so these guys need some, need some so far they need some feed because there's not much there's not a lot of nectar here and this is we're coming into um, winter it's autumn at the moment so you want to make sure you've got feed Okay, so we're going to take this box off, put that on top of the roof, and we move down to the next box. Still not much, not much wax gap building going on here. <coughs> so we're going to have to feed these guys or give them some honey in a couple of weeks. Bloody ants everywhere. Oh, there's some nice brood. Let's just check some of these cells, cell health. And they look okay, because this, this area did have American fowl brood a couple of years back. So 
So that's the brood starts there. Okay, you're just checking the bees. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. But that there is a varroa mite walking on the cells. And there's another one. So this hive has got varroa mites. Well, every hive in New Zealand's got varroa mites. No sign of the form wing virus. But we're going to be treating these guys anyway. I shake the bees off so that I can look more thoroughly. There's a there's a bee being born. I was hoping that these guys would have some more nectar on by now, but it doesn't look like they do, so... Okay, so that's the edge of the brood. Oh, this looks, I was going to bring a solid bottom board for these guys too. It's got to be out there. Not much going on there. And that frame is just, look, there's totally nothing on it. So I suspect the queen is probably at the bottom lever level. We've seen eggs, so we don't have to see her. Ooh. It's quite heavy, quite light. So that's not a good sign because these guys are coming into winter so we need to get some feed in these guys a bit of wax moth there look See that? That's wax moth larvae. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do the sugar shake. So I've got these guys here. I'm going to shake this around a bit more. I know it's annoying to them, but you know, it's, just, it's better than they dying of uh, varroa mites. Now this is what I do. Okay, so I have a bowl here. I'll try and put this up. Hopefully you can see that. And I put, I just put a little thin layer of water on it. Okay, and then what I do then is I just roll them a bit more, then I just shake the icing sugar out. And what happens is the icing sugar dissolves in the water.
Okay, and shake it around a bit. And what you see, I don't know if you, hopefully you can see that, but there's an ant. <laughs> so you've got a high ant count, but you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven varroa mites in there. But eight, eight varroa mites in there. Now we, the threshold we use is the one that Mark Goodwin suggested in his book, and that's three or more. Okay, so they've got seven, so we need to do some treatments. So we'll do that while we're here. Now these girls here can go back in the hive. Okay. Oop. Okay, now we'll continue our inspection. You can see there there's a ghost bee. She's had icing sugar on her. Oh, there's a few ghost bees in there. Okay, that's all right because they'll just get that. They'll, they'll get all that stuff cleaned off them. Oh, I have a look here, guys. I don't know if you can see that. This hot big girl here. She's got a varroa mite on her back. And that, that, that bit of icing sugar, they'll, don't worry about that, they'll clean that up and then they'll uh, sort that out. I'll give them a bit of food. So there's not much going on down here either, so these guys definitely need some food. That's the next step, which I'll do next week. Um, as I said, the mite count's eight, so we need to do an inspection. Need to do a treatment, so I'll do a treatment today too. Okay, hi, this is Gary here. Today we're going to do an, a treatment with Epi Life Bar, which is a thymol-based product. This is how you do it. Okay, so the packet of Epilife Far is like this, and it includes two packets. So you, you'll need, you only need two biscuits, sorry, you only need one per treatment per week. So that's the, that's the biscuit thing there, stick that there. And it's a good idea to keep it airtight, so I'll just put a bit of tape around the edge until next week when we use the second part. Now this treatment, you need to do it for four weeks. So it's every week for four weeks. Okay, and what you do is you get your, get your uh, treatment biscuit. One your day. Cut it into four pieces. Like that. Okay, so then you've got the four pieces. Now you put it around the brood. Like that. Now it does stink and they don't like it, but they get used to it after a while and it's... But the mites hate it more. Okay, so it looks like that. Around the brood. So now we're going to reconstruct the hive.
Okay, so next week we come back and do exactly the same thing. And we do it for four weeks. Okay? That's how you do it. Hope it makes sense. I'll catch you later.